What do you do when your father, the E-9 Command Sergeant Major of 26 years in the Army, his truck goes down? Okay, his heat, his blower doesn't work very well. It only works on one speed. But being that it's Christmas, I'm going to fix it for him. Even though I would fix it some other time too. But I'm going to knock out two birds with one stone. Going to do a YouTube video on it. And this is pretty much going to be my dad's uh, Christmas present. So, uh, Merry Christmas, Dad. Yes, your mechanic's son is going to fix your truck today. So stay tuned. Now it's time for Gas Diesel Garage 101. Class is in session, boys and girls. Well, here's your typical blower circuit. Got battery power that goes to the dash switch. Now, most people think that the dash switch is what controls the speed on the blower, which that's not entirely true. That basically tells the resistor on how fast the blower motor needs to spin. So you got four volts, 8 volts, 10 volts, and then full power. So basically, the resistor is called resistance. It's going to cut the power. So if you have it on speed one, the blower motor is only going to spin at 4 volts. If you got it on uh, speed two, it's only going to have 8 volts turning that blower. And then so on, if you have it on three, it's only going to have 10 volts going to the blower. So if you have it on four, like this Colorado does, basically it's on full blast all the time. So it's getting 12 volts all the time. So basically that's burned up, that's burned up, and that's burned up. So uh, what we're gonna do is replace the resistor and he has no problem. And we're gonna do the blower also because you might as well just do them both. Because a lot of times the resistor is actually embedded or ingrained in the blower. But fortunately Chevy, 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 decided to do a remote resistor. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. Get the Sergeant Major's truck nice and tight and right. Now to gain access to this resistor, this blower motor resistor, speed resistor, step resistor, whatever you wanna call it, it's actually fairly simple. Just jump over here on the passenger side, come on in here. And it sits right up under here. See that? Right there. All we gotta do is take out the, the two 732nd um, screws, or bolts rather, drop it down, plug it up, slam it back in, and he should be able to uh, switch speeds on this blower now. Just back out these two 732nds. Right there. Should drop down just like that. And all you gotta do is just unplug it. Going back in is just as simple as plugging it back in, throwing the bolts back in. Plug that up and then shove it right in back into that slot. There we go. There we go. All right.
Now since I'm already in here replacing the uh, blower motor resistor, might as well just go ahead and put the new blower in too. So I'll have to do this again. Here we go. Brand new blower motor. Three bolts, pop it in, plug it up, pretty much just like the resistor. So uh, let's go ahead and put that in. Now the blower motor sits directly next to the uh, resistor. So we can actually unplug it here. There we go. Unplug it. And then we got to hit the three bolts. One's back here. It's kind of difficult to get to. So I'm going to take that little panel out there. Should be able to get to it. Leave it only pops off just like this. Pops off just like this. There we go. All right. Pop that off right there like that. To get that one in the back, grab yourself a swivel socket because it will be a pain in the butt. I promise you that. Out with the old, in with the new. Here's a little mechanic tip from over the years that I've picked up. If you have a screw that's in a tough spot and you know you're not going to be able to get it in there with your fat fingers or short fingers, uh, all you got to do is take your socket, piece of paper, put the piece of paper over the screw rather, and shove it right in like that. It'll stay in there, I promise you, and you won't be cussing the thing out, and uh, you should be able to get it done. I use it all the time, believe it or not. Now just plug up the blower motor, and we'll be in business. I'm gonna find a hole. Usually don't have problems doing that. There we go. Yeah, put the kick panel back in. There we go. And the good old Chevy emblem back on. There we go. 
Now it's time to test the Sergeant Major's uh, speed on his blower. So I uh, went ahead and stole some of my wife's uh, Christmas wrapping uh, streamers. So uh, let's check this out. Okay. That's number one. Yes, it's still coming out. Okay, let's do number two. Oh, wait, here we go. There we go. It's moving on number two. Let's try one. Yeah, they're moving. Number two again. It's blowing. Let's try number three. Yep. They're blowing. And number four. All right. Job complete, Sergeant Major. Well, that's going to be a wrap for this episode of Gas Diesel Garage. If you enjoyed this type of stuff, please like, subscribe, and uh, help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Let's push this channel to 5,000 subscribers, uh, hopefully by next year. Speaking of next year, next year is going to be a great one because I have a lot more con uh, content coming, a lot of uh, interesting projects, uh, and uh, you're just going to have to stay tuned. I can't give you any more details than that, but until uh, next time, happy holidays, and we'll see you next time. Peace.